asked me quite a few years ago. I'd maybe said, study harder at university. I've got a 2-2 two -two and I kind of think I shouldn't really have. And I wish just for the sake of that last term that I'd not put in a bit more effort if I'd known. Um, but I think as you get a bit older, one, I've realised that actually sometimes those formal qualifications don't necessarily make as much of a difference in your career as you think you might once you've got experience and once people start to know you. So I don't think I'm that bothered about that anymore. And I think what I would now say is probably spending more time with my family. Um, when you're a little kid, uh, you know, you love your parents and that's great, and as you get a bit older and become a teenager, certainly I was very independent and uh, I was an only child, so my parents were very protective. And I was always trying to distance myself from them, get away and do my own thing and live my own life. And that's probably one of the reasons I've been in Oxford there up in Aberdeen, 500 miles away. But I think um, as I get older, you kind of start to appreciate that your parents aren't going to be around for that much longer. I start to see them getting a bit older. Um, we've also had a couple of different health scares. So my dad had cancer a few years ago and he survived that and he's very well now. But I think that sort of thing makes you think a bit more. I've also recently again been touched by Cassie. One of my friends is uh, terminally ill at the moment. And she's amazing and she's so life affirming and positive and encouraging and making sure that she's making the last of every single minute she has left. And I think it really makes you think about uh, your own life and what's important. And therefore, I think those two reasons really are why I would, if I could go back, would actually make sure I, I valued my parents more and, and spent a bit more time with them rather than necessarily trying to escape and do my own thing quite as much.